simple ingredients and a few little special techniques make this humble chicken and noodle dish something extra special. This is my version of soy sauce chicken and noodles. The secret to this amazing dish is that we're going to use our braising liquid for the chicken to make like this awesome sauce for the noodles. So we kind of get a two for one bang for your buck with our braising liquid here. So let's start off with that liquid. And I've got some dried shiitake mushrooms here that I've had soaking in some warm water. It's going to pull the mushrooms out, just give them a light squeeze. The great thing about using dried shiitake mushrooms is that we get some extra flavor from this soaking liquid. So don't waste that. Strain the liquid just because sometimes you can get a bit of sediment dirt from the uh, mushrooms. Keep that for when we do our chicken later. Now, the mushrooms themselves. One thing that really irks me in restaurants is when they don't take the stem off the dried shiitake mushrooms because the thing is inedible. It's really chewy, it's not tasty, and it only takes two seconds to take it off. And now all the aromatics that we want to use to infuse the liquid and the chicken. So I'm gonna start off with some ginger. And I want a really decent handful of garlic cloves here. Just want to crush these. And some spring onion as well. I just want the kind of firmer, pale part of the spring onion here. I'm going to slice those. Save the green tips for later. Now into a hot saucepan, add some oil. And I don't want my saucepan to be too big here because I want the chicken to fit nice and snug so I don't have to add any extra water to cover the chicken. You'll see what I mean later. In go the aromatics and just give those time to have a little bit of a sizzle in there. Mm, that really smells amazing already. So comforting, that ginger and the garlic, yum. Now add star anise and cinnamon stick. And now for the soy sauce. So we're gonna use two types, both Chinese. One is Chinese light soy sauce and the other one is dark soy sauce. So you might get a bit confused where the light soy sauce doesn't refer to light in salt or light in calories or anything like that. It's just light in color. In fact, the light soy sauce is saltier than this dark soy sauce, which is actually sweeter. And then I want some Chinese cooking wine, also known as Shaoxing wine as well. You can leave that out if you want to keep this alcohol free. And then I've got that mushroom soaking liquid and some sugar. I'm going to add my mushrooms back in here and just wait for this to start bubbling away again. And now for the chicken. So I'm using chicken thighs. I find they stay juicier uh, and I love the flavour. You can totally use chicken breast as well though, up to you. Now the important thing here is I want to get the chicken skin side down if indeed your chicken does have skin, which I love also, um, because I want the skin to take on all of that beautiful soy sauce colour. And then you'll see here, because my saucepan is quite small, I've got a really nice snug fit in the chicken and it's almost completely covered with the liquid. If it's not, you'll need to add a little bit of water here just so the chicken is covered and you might need to add a bit of salt there at the end. Now here comes the little bit of technique that is going to keep our chicken really nice and tender and juicy and still flavour that broth. So I want you to simmer this gently for 10 minutes and then take it off the heat, put the lid on and let it sit for 30 minutes. And that slow residual cooking is going to allow the chicken time to kind of soak up all those flavours in the braising liquid and give it time to cook through. So at this point, you've been very patient. Your kitchen is smelling beautiful. Let's have a check on our chicken. Okay, so this chicken is looking really nice and firm. I can tell it's cooked through. If you find that it's not, just put it back on the stove top for a little bit and gently simmer it till it's cooked through. I'm gonna take these pieces out first of all. And don't forget those beautiful mushrooms. And then strain out that sauce. Now I'm just going to bring this sauce back up to a simmer. In the meantime, I'm going to check it for some seasoning. Oh wow, you will not believe the amount of flavor in there. I can taste the ginger and that beautiful soy flavor is rounded out by that little hint of sweetness with the sugar and the ginger and everything. It's just so good. Uh, I will add a little bit of salt though. You can just add that to taste. And just remember, we're going to be using only a little bit of this sauce with quite a lot of noodles. So 
make it a little saltier than you think. So now let's talk about the noodles and I've got these beautiful Chinese dried egg noodles. You could use fresh egg noodles. I do prefer egg noodles for this one. I find they have a bit of body and a bit of richness that really goes well with this sauce. Pop your noodles into some boiling water. Loosen them up a little bit and whatever you do, don't overcook them. Oh, there's nothing worse than soggy noodles, just like soggy pasta. So go for al dente here. While the noodles are going, I'm just gonna take a little bit of that beautiful braising liquid, pour that into my bowl. You want a little bit in each bowl. And now the noodles, they go into that sauce. And I've got some green vegetables here. I'm just gonna quickly blanch them in the water. They literally only take a couple of seconds. And then one of those beautiful mushrooms and the chicken. Ah, cooking chicken this way really does keep it so juicy. I really hate those dry, tough pieces of chicken you can get on noodles. So unnecessary. Finally, a little drizzle of sesame oil. The devil is always in the details, my friends. And some sambal olic or just some spicy chili paste, whatever you've got around, and a little sprinkling of spring onion. And now the real joy here comes with mixing those noodles in that sauce and with the chili paste. So good. Now let's see if I can eat these ladylike without getting anything on my top. Mm. That flavor, I mean, you would swear you've been simmering that liquid or that sauce for hours. Mmm, so good. Chicken is so tender. Mm. And infused with all of those beautiful aromatics. This is such a complete and happy meal for me. Mmm, gets me every time. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, guys.